Do you find yourself typing the same message over and over again and telling the same stories over and over again? Well, I'm going to improve your life tenfold. To start off, we need to get a Better Discord plugin. Now, I've already shown you how to install Better Discord so many times, and I have a complimentary video that will show you how to download the plugin. It might say it's unsafe, you just need to press OK. Then you go into Discord, go into your user settings, scroll down, go to your Better Discord section, click on Plugins, open the Plugins folder, then it'll open up behind. Just drag the plugin into that folder, and kaboom, you basically got it. You just need to go back, and you need to download the libraries. Then when you download the libraries, all you need to do is just make sure you have the libraries enabled. And when you have that, press Control and R to restart Discord. And when it does restart, you may need to update it, so make sure it is fully up to date. Now, once the plugin actually updates, you just need to go to any chat message anywhere. Then just type in something you want to keep on typing over and over again. So in this case, things that I say a lot are, yes, I am single and ready to look for my new best friends. Now this is for Discord mods, not for me personally, but when you have your message sent out, all you need to do is just right click, then click add to chat aliases, and you will see replace and then all this text. We actually want to copy that, actually cut it, sorry, with control X, then you want to paste it into the width box, then we need to go up to the Replace tab, and we need to enter in what macro we want this kind of shortcut to be. So in this case, I'm going to do slash slash yes, gf, as in yes, girlfriend. Then you have a couple options down here. You can handle the word value as case sensitive. So you can have yes, gf be different than yes, capital G, capital F. It's all up to you. Once again, that's a pretty straightforward setting. So the second option down here, handle the word value as an exact word and not as part of a word. Basically what that means is that if you have your replace box set as sup, as in sup, then it will only replace sup as a word by itself. But if you have this disabled, that means words like supper would actually be replaced with, yes, I am single and ready to look for my new best friends, period. And then it would add the rest, so the P-E-R. Basically, it's up to you how you want to configure it. Most people will want this enabled. Then we have handle this alias in the autocomplete menu. I would just keep this enabled for now just because when you actually start using this plugin, it gets very uh, difficult to understand what's going on unless you have the autocomplete menu. Then for the final option, you have handle the word value as a regex string. Basically, if you know regex, then this will be really nice and fun. But if you don't, just ignore it and click add. And now if I'm talking to someone and let's say, you know, I want to hit them up, I just have to do slash slash yes gf. Now I could type it out. And when I press enter, it'll automatically fill it out and then I can send the message. Or what I could do is do slash slash, then I can actually press tab and it will auto complete. And this is helpful if you have multiple things. So for example, I'm just going to say, I'm going to type in, hey, yo, cutie pie, then I'm going to select all of it, right click it and click add to chat aliases. Then I'm going to replace the two boxes and just swap them around. And we're going to change this to, hey, yo, and I'm going to leave all the options and click add. Now, if I do that slash slash thing, I now have two options and I can use my keyboard up and down arrows to select which one I want. I'm going to do hey, yo, cutie pie and press tab and it'll automatically fill it out. But that is basically how you use it the easy way. Now I'm going to go into the settings of the plugin and you have basic settings in the settings menu. These are really obvious if you just read them. Then you have add new alias and this is the same kind of thing we have. You can upload a file if you want, which is pretty insane. Then we have the added aliases tab. You will see you have a, all of your aliases that you already have added but you have a couple options. You have case, that's case sensitive. You have exact, that's the same thing as like the sup versus supper. You have auto C, which is that little menu thing that pops up when you type. You have regex, now this is regular expression. And then you have file, and file basically is going to make it so if you have one of your aliases as a file type or a file path, sorry, it's like C, blah, 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 blah. It'll find the file if it's available and it'll upload it, which is really helpful. Then for the next tab, you have remove all. Pretty obvious you remove them and a little configuration guide. So my favorite personal use for this is actually just stating rules to people. For example, I do get a lot of direct messages from people saying, hey, can you help me out with something? And unfortunately, I can't help them. So I do have to reference the rules and be a little mean, but this is how I use it personally. What I do is I paste in the rules, and as you can see, it's formatted in Discord's little fancy dancy format. I'm gonna maybe edit the message a bit. So I've modified the message a little bit just so it sounds like a conversation, because mind you, you probably don't wanna be sending people like just random bits of words everywhere. Try to keep it as natural as possible so people aren't suspicious. But all you need to do is select all the text, then you need to right click it, click add to chat aliases. 
Then you need to cut and paste it into the width box. Now I'm going to replace this with uh, DM rule. So now that I filled it out, you might notice a little bit of a weird thing with our message. Specifically, we have these slash ends. This is basically a new line, so it's just going to create a new line. That's just like pressing the enter key. Then we have our normal Discord formatting of two stars for bold. We have do not DM the staff team. We have another new line. But in this case, quotes actually don't work unless we do something very specific. Quotes in Discord are handled by using the greater than symbol and pressing space. Now I'm going to do it without real quick and I'll show you how it looks and then I'll add it later on. So I'm going to click add and now I'm going to type in slash slash DM rule. I'm going to go down to it, press tab and press enter. And you'll notice it doesn't look like the rules because the rules has this little indent. So what I need to do is I need to go to the user settings, scroll down to the plugin. Then I need to go to chat aliases, click on the settings, click on added aliases. Then I need to look at DM rule and I need to add this specific character. Basically after the new line, I need to enter the greater than symbol, press a space, then press done. And what that's going to do is actually in my message, if I edit this real quick, you notice if I go to the last line, put that greater than symbol and press space, it'll create the quotation. I click save, it works. And let's test out our new command, slash slash DM rule, press tab. So as you can see, it matches exactly what I wanted, but we can go even deeper. You can actually reference channels, users, and literally anyone else through this specific message. So in this case, if you want to reference a channel, you actually need to do the less than symbol, hashtag, then the channel ID, then the greater than symbol. And when you do that, you will get the channel as a link people can click. So in this case, I'm going to right click the rules and click copy ID. To get this copy ID thing, you need to be in the developer mode, which is in settings, advanced developer mode. Once you have that enabled though, I do the greater than sign, hashtag, paste in the ID, then do the greater than symbol, and kaboom, it's now rules. And if I press enter, you can actually click on that and it'll take you to the rules channel. As you can tell, I could uh, just edit it and change it into the general channel and that would make a little more sense so click on it it'll take me to the general channel now this channel thing works if you send it to people through dms mind you you both have to be on the same server or the one that you're trying to link to for it to work properly but it is a very useful thing i personally edit my message so it says also see the rules and i paste in the rules here as in the link so I'm going to copy ID, I'm going to go back to my user settings, go to plugins, then go to chat aliases, go to added aliases. Then all I need to do is just look for rules. Then I'm going to do the less than symbol, hashtag, paste in the channel ID, then do a greater than symbol, press done. And now, believe it or not, all I need to do is do my super cool slash slash DM rule, then press tab and press enter. And now it links the specific channel. So I pasted in a little bit of a template that you can use if you want to do anything a little more advanced. So you can have the channel ID, which is just the same thing. You do the less thing, you know, the hashtag, but you can also do user ID. So you can right click on any user and click copy ID. Then you can do role ID and how to get the role ID is you just click on someone's name. You right click their role and click copy ID. Then you can paste it in. So in this case, I'm going to try role ID and do the at and ampersands, paste it in, then do the closing bracket and it'll ping the owner. So you can include that in your message. And if you were confused about how I got this bold and quoted text and this little indent thing, then I've attached a link in the description to Markdown Text 101, which should help you learn all the little nuances of Discord's Markdown. Anyways, that is the end of the video. If it helped you in any way, then do the YouTube stuff. I'm not forcing you to, but I'd appreciate it. I'd give you a big kiss at the end of the video if you did. If it didn't help you, um, I'm sorry. I, I sometimes, sometimes I just can't and it just happens. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what else to say, man. I'm sorry, man. Anyways, keep up the good work, man. You're killing it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm fine. I love you.